And I think we are live. Yes, and we're live. We are live. Yes, and we're live. Oh, we except live. I've got the YouTube yes, thing playing in the background. I've got the YouTube thing playing in the background. The YouTube thing playing in the background. The YouTube thing playing in the background. Ah, I've got Twitch going in the background. There we go. Let's close that down. Uh, right, so you're getting a bit of echo there for a minute, but hopefully everything is now fine. Uh, hello, everybody. Thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, this is part 11 of our Gloomhaven coverage. I'm joined by Paul and John. Say hello. 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 And yeah, so the, for, for the first time today, I'm broadcasting on Twitch and on YouTube at the same time. A um, couple of things we need to do before we start. Uh, Oliver's here, and I think that's in the Twitch chat. So thank you very much, Oliver. He's found me on Twitch. Um, and the first thing I need to do is I need to share my screen with you two uh, so that you can actually see what's going on. There you go. Right. I've shared my screen with you. So that, that's good. Um, yeah. So we basically, for the first time, I have decided to start using Twitch. Uh, a couple of reasons. A lot of other people are using it as well. But also the chat delay on Twitch is about four or five seconds rather than YouTube, which is about 20 seconds. So yeah, it does seem to be a lot quicker and I might start using Twitch chat more in future. And I've been able to get Twitch, um, as you can see from the, the chat messages appearing, uh, I've been able to get it on there. So YouTube chat viewer, the text is a bit big. I'm just gonna make that smaller for those people uh, watching. Talks here as well. Hi Chris, thank you for joining in. I'm gonna make you small. There you go, right. Um, so yeah, I've also got the Facebook chat window there, but I'm not broadcasting on Facebook, so. Um, Get rid of yeah. it there. <laughs> yeah, I, well, yeah, I could. Let's just um, let's just hide that. Facebook live comments. There you go. It's gone. Um, yeah, I wasn't getting that many views on Facebook anyway. But also, I'm a little bit concerned by broadcasting to three different places at the same time. Um, now, the Twitch one did say it was only going to be able to stream at 720p, uh, which is obviously a lower resolution than than I would like. But I think they're throttling it at the moment because obviously a lot of people are using the internet. Anyway, without further ado, we're going to jump in. Uh, I'm going to go to full screen, so I'm not going to be able to see the Twitch comments, unfortunately. Oh, I am. If I do it on there... Oh, yeah, my, if I watch this back on my, my iPad... My thumbnail is visible to me on, on screen. Yeah. I think I will be able to just about see the Twitch comments. Uh, right, okay, so where are we? Load adventure. Uh, third time lucky. And we left off having arrived at a town, and we'd spent some gold. And we'd re-equip, that was it. We arrived at Wildspire, didn't we? Um, and we were deciding where to go. And I think we'd agreed that we were going to go to the logging camp. Still doing that? Yeah, yeah. that's fine. Paul, for some reason I can see my thumbnail in on your... Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, there there you we go. go. Thank you. Gone now. <laughs> I don't know why that was, uh, that was doing it. Right, okay. So we're going to the logging camp, which is going to be two scenario run length. We're just going to do one scenario today because that normally takes us about an hour and a half. And then we'll come back either next week or possibly over the weekend to do the second one. And then after that, we're going to go and try and take on the boss. And that's probably where we're going to end this coverage of this game because uh, it's good, but it's taken us quite a while. So uh, we're going to go to the Screeching Depths. Now, we're going to be fighting Sun Demons, Night Demons, Living Bones. Yeah. Okay. Lots do of shields. Lots of shields. Do we want to customise our decks before this? Uh, from memory, I don't have any more piercing than I've already got in the deck, but just check, please. Wall of Doom. Skewer. Wall of Doom? No. How many shame. cards do I get? Scoundrel gets nine. Nine, so I've got too many cards out here, so which one shouldn't I have out? Ah, the one new one that I just chose, probably. Uh, well, that's it. Level... We, haven't, we haven't put our new cards in yet. We haven't customised no, our No, we list. haven't, have we? Yeah. So, um... so I probably want to put that one in and take something out. What am okay. I going to take out? So both of you let me know what card you want to take out. Yeah, I'm leaving mine as it is, I think. But uh, you've got a level three card. Yeah. Yeah, oh, okay. Um... I think I'm going to take out quick hands and put in hidden daggers. Okay, quick hands out, hidden daggers in. John, you have a think while I'm going to do mine. Go on, I'm then. definitely putting elemental aid in. <coughs> but which one am I taking out? Um, I think I'm going to take freezing nova out and put elemental aid in. Yeah, right. John? Uh, leaping cleave out, hook and chain in. But you use Leaping Cleave all the time. Yeah, it's all right. Oh. Um. <laughs> it's 
difficult decisions, isn't it? Deciding what it to, is. Uh, I didn't like taking quick hands out, but I think I'll take it out now. Provoking roar. Is provoking roar going out? Yeah. Right. So provoking roar is out. Hook and chain is in. Right. We've done our decks. Just as a reminder of your equipment, John, you've got chain mail, a bloody axe, boots of striding, a moon earring, and a major stamina potion. So don't forget to let me know when you want to use the major stamina potion. <laughs> Uh, don't rush don't rush ahead uh, <laughs> this is the bit where I, this is the bit where i tell you that i've now got to go and get me physical cards out of the box because okay. i've forgotten again bear with okay carry on paul yes. you have Before an inferno we... blade and a heater shield yep and you've got a major healing potion and a moon earring now, before okay. we just lock those cards in, yep. do we know what we're going to be fighting? Have we yes. seen the... Um, is yes. there anything with shields? Uh, John is saying that they have shields. I think I think the Night Demon, I think you have disadvantage against everything yeah. that, you're, that you're attacked. And I think the Sun Demon has shields. Yeah, we'll leave that as it is. Let's go with that. I, I, okay. I'm a bit reluctant to take quick hands out, but let's go with that for a minute and we'll right. see how we get on. So, what we're going to do then is new etiquette for playing. I will not end your turn until you say, end turn. Okay. Okay? Thank you very much. Let's go with that then. Charlie's here in the chat as well. Hi, Charlie. Thank you for joining in. Right, we are going to go to the Screeching Depths and let's see if we have an encounter on the way. So for, oh, we do. Right. Uh, you happen upon a stoppered flask lying in the road, clearly dropped by some clumsy adventurer. You pick up the flask and notice that there is still a good amount inside and you are feeling a tad thirsty. Take a drink or leave the flask alone. Well, take a drink. I think leave it. John, you get the deciding vote. Uh, uh, well, let's take a drink. Oh, it's going to be poison. You know it's going to be poison. Of course it's going to be poison. You have no idea what it is exactly that you are drinking, but it is sure good. You share the hearty brew around the party, feeling invigorated as you journey onwards. We have been strengthened. Okay, so there we go. We were right to drink it. <laughs> I'm just scared. Now, just as a word of warning, we are now playing on scenario level two. So this is going to be harder than it was last time. In other words, no messing around, chaps. <laughs> <laughs> right. I need a quick blast through what my deck is, Paul. Right, so your deck is that. Shield Bash, right. Can you shout the numbers out to me? That would be ha handy. Um, uh, 32. 15. Yeah, got that 32, one. 32. Yeah. 42. Yeah. 61. Uh, yeah. Overwhelming Assault. 72 Trample. My favourite, yep. 27 Spare Dagger. Spare dagger is 27, 27, yep. Uh, 40, Fatal Advance. <laughs> yep. 54, Leaping Cleave. Yep. 64, Sweeping Blow. Yep. And 77, Balanced Measure. Yep. Thank okay, you very right. much. So well. here is the room, and let's look at what Griblies we've got. So the Sun Demons have an innate of Shield 1. Okay, so that's not too bad. Um, but they are flying and they have an innate ability of advantage. So they're always going to be drawing two cards against us. Uh, we have some living bones in there, we know them. And what have we got in the back? We've got the night demon. So yeah, attacking a night demon, attackers always gain disadvantage. Right, so a fairly small room. We have a one, two, three room dungeon, but each room is fairly big. And our objective, as normal, is to kill all enemies. And we are all strengthened, so we probably want to do as many attacks as we can on the first round. Um, do you want to move to different locations? Because, again, it's put me in the front. <laughs> I don't like being in the front. Um, I'd like to go top left, please. So, Brute is going to go there. So I'm probably going to hide where you are. Paul, do you want to go one forward, or are you happy where you are? Uh, I'll go one forward. I'll stand next to the Brute, I think. Okay, which means I'll tuck in here behind the back. Right, so, um, for those people who haven't watched any of the previous streams, the way we're doing this is that both John and Paul have physical copies of the cards of the actual board game with them. They are going to choose their cards secretly, then I'm going to choose my cards. We're basically going to try and recreate uh, the board game experience, um, is what we're doing. 
Um, I've just realized I don't have my lighting on in here and it's a little bit dark. So yeah, that's that's why I'm looking very dark is that I haven't actually got my lighting on. Just bear with me. You right? are dark, Paul. Yeah, I just realized. <laughs> Let's see if I can get Because I'm on this. Skype, all I can see is the back of your monitor. <laughs> Am I going to be able to reach? There we go. Right. Just about managed to reach it without pulling the microphone out, except I have lost my my headphones. Which ah, means I can't hear you. Uh, is it that one? Is it that one? Bear with us a minute. Right. Okay. Back on. So, yeah. So I'm going to choose my cards uh, first. Well, no, you're going to choose your cards first, and then once you've chosen, you're going to let me know that you're ready. Uh, well, I can tell you now, I'm going to be doing fiery orbs. That is what I'm going to be doing to start with. Can I do two attacks? Oh, I got. Oh, I could. I'll tell you what, right, no, I'm going to start. Oh, no, then. Um, Paul, would you mind swapping with me? Yeah, no, not a problem. Okay. There you go. Right, okay. So I'm going to be doing as much attacking as I can in the first round to, to take advantage of the fact that, that we're strengthened. Um, right. Tom just popped you, in the chat. Hi, Tom. Are you going to go fairly early then? Me? Yeah. Uh, without, without giving away what it is exactly that I'm doing. Um, yeah. I'm just asking about how early you're going. So I want I'm to go going... In the first half. Right, okay. I'm going about halfway. Okay, I think I probably want to try and see what happens before I do anything, but that's quite hard with the, with the scoundrel. Yeah. Um, so. I've just noticed my XP. I'm on 125 out of 150. Go with that means that. I'm totally going to level up by the time we take on the boss. Let's do that. Um. Okay, let's get in there. And Rick's just popping in the Twitch chat, even though he's meant to be working. If you don't tell anybody, we won't. Hmm, I've got a conference call that starts at one. Never mind. Oh. No, no one will know that I'm not there, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you started at 2.30, which is why we brought this forward. Yeah, uh, kind of someone stuck something else in. Oh. Never mind. It's all right. I can join it and turn them off, if you right. know. Right. <laughs> Okay. Right, Paul, have you chosen? I have. Right, okay, so I'm going uh, Flame Strike, Fiery Orbs. Right, Paul, what are you doing? Sinister, oppor sinister Opportunity, Open yep. Wound. You're going late. I'm going very late. And John? And, uh, leaping Cleave and Sweeping Blow, leaping giving cleave. myself the option of multiple attacks, depending yeah. well, on... I think they're going to go early. Yeah, the Night Demons are going early. They're moving and attacking, and all adjacent enemies are going to suffer one damage. Oh, and allies. Then the Sun Demon is going after me. Okay. And then the Living Bones come in afterwards. Okay, so we're going to get battered. Here we go, the Night Demon first. Oh, oh what? Four damage? Well, at least that's the double out of the way. I can take that. And then what's it doing? It's doing other damage. Okay, the brute takes the damage as well. Uh, and thankfully, the sun demon at the back took a damage. Right, it's me. So, um, now then, John, you've got leaping cleave on, haven't you? So you need two of them next to you. Yeah, two or three. Um, and I've also got the jump ability as well, so I can get to basically wherever in this room. Okay. Right. Well, I'm going to do an attack two, range two. Uh, what is it you're doing, Paul? Me, I'm going to hit something hit hard. One thing right. hard, basically, and hope okay. to kill it. So, so whatever's the highest I'll be going for, I guess, at the end, is what okay. was my general plan. Well, I'm going to try and get rid of this, uh, do as much damage as I can to the sun demon. So attack two, range two. Which is going to be this, which might not be any damage. Oh no, done some damage. Oh yeah, because we're strengthened, that's good. Right, and then fire orbs using the minor power potion to do an attack three on that one. 
that one, and that one. Okay. Oof. Come on, be good. Check that out. Wow. Gotta love this spell weaver. Right, there you go. So that's the sun demon gone. <laughs> uh, end turn. Right, the brute. Off you go. So I think I'm going to use the jump capability, land on the gold, two in front of me, and I should be able to use the leaping, the sweeping blow attack. You can. To take the two of them out. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And um, have I got any power potions or? You do not. Up, You've got up. the bloody axe. Is it time to use it? Yeah. Uh, Possibly. It's up to you. Go on then. Okay, so you're using the axe. Uh, and then oh, hang on, no, I'm not. I'm not going to use the axe because I use the axe when I'm doing trample. So no. no. Then again, you've got your earring, remember? Okay. That's a recoverable one, is it? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Fine. So okay. axe. Yes. Turn targets. Yes. Okay. Come on. Nice. <laughs> right, you are taking two damage though from the uh, from the axe. A right. mere bag of tail, a flesh I wound. I no longer need to hit anything hard. You don't. No. <laughs> right now, remember, I'm not going to end your turn until you say end turn. Uh, yeah, end turn. Okay. Right. So the living bones is going to move and it's going to hit me with both attacks. The first one doesn't do anything. And the second one gives me one damage. And it's going after you, Paul, because you had the earliest initiative, right? Yes. Okay. Right, okay. Mr. Scou Mrs. Scoundrel. Okay, so I could change what I was going to do. Do we want the door open? No. No. <laughs> okay. I think we've had a fantastic first round. <laughs> Let's not ruin it. Oh, we've got a trap. We have a Go trap. what? Trap. There. There. Okay. Uh... I noticed that. A uh, move one is not going to help now, so let's just um, go bang and hit it on the head with attack four. So you're doing that first? Actually, it doesn't make a lot of difference which one I use, does it? Uh, no. Yeah, that oh, one, yeah. 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 Uh, I guess you're not using the Inferno Blade. I don't really see the point. No. This is probably going to kill it anyway because you're something. Oh, yes. I'm hoping. <laughs> and if he yeah. didn't, you would have put a wound on it anyway. I would, yeah. Okay, right. So, where do you want to move to? Um, the gold pile at the top of the. Uh, let's, well, which ones are any of them more than two? Yes. Do you mean more than one? More than two gold. Oh no. No, all the gold piles some... are two gold. Okay, uh, the one the, the one here is the door. Then, which, well, actually, two of them are equidistant. So, the one right in front of me. Okay, so you're just going to do a default move onto there. End turn. End turn, please. Okay, right. That's round one done. So, so round two. Do we need to put a health warning on this, Paul? That this isn't actually a multiplayer game at the moment. Uh, well, we're, we're kind of doing it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for those people watching, this is not multiplayer capable app, right? We, we are playing this by me sharing my screen over Skype and the other players telling me what they want to do. So, yeah, the app is not multiplayer just yet. That's not entirely obvious, is it? The fact that we're having to tell you <laughs> Skype. Well, I, I, I would have thought it would be obvious, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, right. So, uh, I guess the plan is to just go through the door. Yep. I'll sort of go a little bit before middle. Let me know when you've chosen your cards, and then I will yep. choose mine. Let's do that. Do I? That's quite... I've got to say, after playing many, many hours of this alone and doing some bug hunting and things, that it's great fun playing it, playing it with I'm very Real saddened humans. by the fact you're suggesting stopping it. <laughs> well, only because uh, I've got lots of other things to do. I mean, we don't have to. It's just once we've taken on the first boss, I thought that might be a good time to stop it. But no, it is really good and it's working really well. Well, we can figure out how to turn the other light on. Poor scoundrel. And... 
move poor. I, 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 I can't. I, I spent two hours trying to get uh, my broadband upgraded yesterday. Sky has got a notice up basically saying, don't ring us, we're too busy. <laughs> I'm not joking. And then their website died. <laughs> <laughs> I must call them to uh, get rid of my sports subscription now there isn't any sport on the day. Right. Are you ready, gentlemen? I have my cards. I am ready. Okay, I've just turned the other light on because I noticed I was still quite dark. Right. Okay. I will be probably going first, I suspect. Well, let's have a look at what I'm going to do then. So we probably want to be moving in a bit. <clears throat> Seems highly unlikely anyone can go before me. Well, you either four or six, I'm guessing. Okay, right. I've chosen so my cards. Two options. <laughs> right. What, what is it you're doing, Paul? I'm doing flanking strike throwing knives. Flanking strike throwing knives. John? Uh, fatal advance and balance to measure. Right, okay. Fatal we go then. Advance. Scoundrel first. Okay, let's go to the door first. We're we leaving all this gold behind. Uh, move or five, sorry, move five. So move five onto the door. It looks like we are leaving the gold behind. Right, there we go. So inside we have a living bones here. We have an elite living bones over here. And we have a knight, an elite knight demon, but that's it. There's not much well, in this room. Well, we did rather well in that first room. I've really struggled with these knight and sun demon rooms. Mm. Uh, so I want to get within range three of two things if I can, and I can't. Can if, I? If, if you can move past the skeleton, I will be able to dispatch well, I don't think it. I can. You can move here, Paul. That's within range yeah, three. I can. Two, I can. That is ideal. Yes, let's okay. move there, please. Okay. And then throw knives on these two. Yep. Yep. Okay. Confirm. Okay, well, there's your null. That's fine. And on the other one, one damage. Okay. Ready when you are to say end turn? End turn. Night demon, night demon. <laughs> Show your age, John. Night demon's coming for you. <clears throat> okay, yeah, we got a uh, damage too. Remind so. me to wear my white suit next time. Heater shield to protect one, and then I guess you're just going to take the one damage. Right, the brute's turn. Off you go. Right, I was going to move six, but I now can't, I don't think. You can move four. Yeah. Which is enough. Yep. Yeah. Um, but hang on, uh, I've got balance measure, you see, so I was hoping to move six and whack something. But well, I'm you not still can with the boots. Yeah, but I don't think I've got, I can get yeah, to the can. sixth hex. One, two, three, four, oh, five, I see. six. Yeah, you just take okay. a. Take a scenic route. Okay, I was thinking of getting to the other side with the gold or something. Okay, take right. take the scenic route with my boots then, please, Paul. So, four plus two, and you're going to go... Uh, two. One, two. Three. Three, four, five, six. Six. Okay. Okay. And the reason why you're taking the scenic route is you now get to do an attack six because you yeah. moved six hexes. So, yep. attack six on there. Confirm Die target. again, Hopefully. Oh. oh! One short. Right. Close. Remember? But no signal. Let me know when you want to end turn. And, uh, blah, 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 blah. Refresh my doodads. Uh, is there anything to refresh? No. Fine. Keep End turn, please. Paul. End turn. Okay, right. So the living bones. Hitting you it does a measly one damage, which is absorbed by your chainmail. Not even a flesh wound. No. What did the elite living bones do? Oh, they were just attacking this turn. Could you do the tab key, Paul? Which is tab? just a hut. No traps in this room. Why right. didn't that living bones do anything? Uh, it was supposed to move four, attack two, target three. Oh no, that's is it an elite. Default. Yeah. Why didn't it do anything? That's odd. Yeah, it skipped its go, and I yeah, don't know why. That's a bug. That must be a bug. Yeah. Looks like it. There we go. So we can report that. Um, 
Right, so my oh, go. You're on the open beta version as well, Paul, I notice. Am Bottom I? left hand corner, yeah. Or maybe I don't not. Think it, no, maybe I don't not. think so. No. Okay. Right, well, I was going to rush in and do an impaling eruption. Um, and I think I might. I think move two plus me boots will get me to. Uh, oh, I can get to there. I can get the gold. Is that a little risky? No. Well, you don't think? As long as you don't go super early initiative next go. Okay, let's, let's do it. Let's, let's go there. <laughs> okay, and then impaling eruption, uh, which will be one, two, three. Oh, hang on. That's, that's it, I can't get anything else. Right, well, that's got rid of the living bones anyway. Thank you, Spellweaver. Um, do I go invisible? I think I might. Yeah, I think I'm going to go invisible because I'm scared. Okay, right, that is my go done. <coughs> round three. Because that was only round two. We're smashing this. He says with overconfidence, the last room's going to be a disaster. You, we know this. Yep. Right, let me know when you've got your cards. I'm going to have a think about what I'm going to do this turn. Struggling a bit now. Uh, we have Zek in the Facebook chat and we have somebody in the Twitch chat that I can't quite see because it's come up as dark blue and I'm looking at it on the iPad. Clinden. Hmm? It's Clinden. Clinden, there you go. I've turned the brightness up on my iPad. Um, so I think it might be time for me to summon my ally. Oh, yeah, don't, don't forget you've got your Inferno Blade whenever there's fire. I know. There is no fire at the moment. No. And nobody's wounded, really. So... Right, I'm uh, going to go... I'm going to be going late. And I'm going to be summoning in? my Mystic Ally. Oh, okay. And I'm going to be zapping one of them at range. Whichever one's left. So that's my plan. I hope that works. You're not going invisible. Uh, no, you are invisible work. already. I am currently invisible, yes. But you're going to uh, put a um, summon between you and the elite skeleton, isn't it? It, right? it will be somewhere. Hopefully um, hopefully not too You'll much in the way. You'll just die if you do that. Um. <laughs> no, this is really difficult. I've got nothing left, much left to hit with. It's not going to burn a you're card. A bit, you're a bit distant, Paul. In terms of audio. Yeah, all right. I'm just. How's that? Any better? Yeah, it's better. Yeah. So I had the laptop on the on the volume so, control earlier. So I'm going to give difficult. you. Do you want a hand with the living, with the dead, the dark, whatever it is, night demon? Night demon. Let's have a look. Um. Might be. I'm pro. It might. Be well be that we need a little bit of extra hitting power on it but I'm hope mm, that seems a waste to use that okay I'll tell you what I could hit it for a bit if, and I, I could just do my things the other way around I could go really uh, early. I, I think I have it covered okay I would like I would like that skeleton to move towards some us okay if, um, so I can then move in a straight line and get two attacks on it. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you can move through me, so yeah. okay. we'll see what it does. All right. Ian's just popped into the Facebook chat. Hi, Ian. Thank you for joining in. Hi, Ian. Oliver's got to go. Thank you, Oliver, for joining in and for testing Bye, the Twitch Oliver. chat. Bye, Oliver. Right. Have you chosen your cards? Yes. Okay. I'm doing that and then that. So, Paul... I'm doing Backstab Thief Snack. Backstab Thief Snack. And John? I am doing Trample and Hook and Chain. Right. Okay. Then selection. So, let's see what they're doing. The Living Bones is moving and attacking three different things. So, as long as we're not near each other, that's fine. But then it's healing itself for two. And the Night Demon is going on 41. And it's attacking five and generating darkness. Ouch. So, Paul, if you don't kill it... I can then try and finish it off. 
well, I think I should probably kill it. Right. Um, what to do is... that's... Oh, you're doing I'm that gonna. Doing that. Yeah. Well, uh, is there any point in doing it the other way around? Yeah, because I might save a card if I do it the other way around. So let's go attack three. Attack three. What? Because if I get a... knack. Yeah. Because if I get a plus one, then it's done, yeah. and I can. Yeah. And just... get... It's got disadvantage. So... Yeah. And there you go. Dealt one damage. Ah uh, well. Let's hit it with the backstab top then. Ish, okay. Yep. Yeah, backstab on the top, which is attack five. With disadvantage. Dead. Unfortunately, I've lost my backstab card, but never yeah, mind. You've lost your backstab card. Right. End turn? Yes, please. Okay, right. Me. So, uh, nobody really needs any healing, so let's do the mana bolt. I'm going to use the. It doesn't really matter. Don't think anybody else is using anything. I'll use the darkness to do an attack of. Two? Is that all? Oh yeah, because the shield. Yeah. Oh, nice! <laughs> I'm on fire today. Uh, then yeah, we'll summon a mystic ally. So what's it doing? It's moving two and attacking two. So it's moving here. And it's going to hit me. But it can't see you. Uh, I'll become visible very soon. So it's going to move yeah. there and hit me. John? You won't be able to then move in a straight line. Yeah, so I'll go. I've got a ranged attack, so I'll Table, do that. Rather than me summoning my Mystic Ally, I could just move out of the way. Yeah, because mm -hmm. then we won't get attacked at all. Okay. Because it's going to move two, it will end here. Uh, so you're going to move the two. Go, what, move, you're going to move yeah. one to your right, backwards Let's and right, are you? I, if I move here. Yeah. Oh, in fact, if I move here... Yeah, you can pick up the gold. I can pick up the gold as well. Yeah, okay, so change of plan. Let's do that. Pick up the gold, become visible. It moved to there, fell into our trap. Nice. Right, John. Okay, so if you can move the, use the bottom of 42, please. Yeah, so you're moving in a straight line to here. Yeah, yeah. Which means you get to do... Two damage. An attack two on it. Which is an attack on the field. You drew your double. Yes. Okay, right. And then. The top of trample, obviously. Yeah. Sorry, that sounded terrible. I didn't mean it to sound like that. Obviously, the attack <laughs> of trample. End yeah. turn? Yes, please. Okay, right. We're done. So, round four. Round four, and we've cleared two rooms already. Wow. Yeah. I'm going to waste a round now, though, because I can't get anywhere. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to move and pick up the gold, I think, and then I'll probably long rest next turn. I think that's my plan. Well, I think I'm just going to move and do nothing. Yeah. And then short rest. Yeah. Because it's yeah. going to take me two turns to get to the door, whatever happens. Yeah. Let me know when you've both chosen your cards. Sorry, so do you need me to pick up that gold in front of me? No, I, I was going to pick up that gold. Okay, Paul's going to pick up the gold in front of him, is he? Scoundrel. No, nope. you're no, not. Paul's just going to move I, I'm desperate. I'm desperate for movement, so I I need to max out a two move. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm just going to have a look at this urn. Okay, yep. Yeah. I'll go and pick up the gold then. Which gold? The the one in front of Paul. This one. Yeah, the Paul's miles away. Huh? That's miles away from the door. Okay, I won't do that. Well, you can do, but... <laughs> yeah, you're going the wrong way. <laughs> the wrong way. Mm. I was, right, I was in, triggering my inner pull. I want, I want gold. Uh... <laughs> yeah, I'd love the gold, but I need to get to the door as well. Yeah. Let me know when you've got your cards. Yeah, done. I, I have my cards. Right, yeah. okay, so I'm doing that and that. It doesn't really matter. Uh, Paul? I'm doing smoke bomb and hidden daggers. Okay. Also, doesn't really matter. And John? Uh, I'm doing 15 and 61. Uh, shield bash and overwhelming assault. assault. Right, okay. So, scoundrel first. Uh, move two. With, Towards with the door in any. Uh, with either of them, I don't really care because the other one's going to do nothing anyway. Okay, move two and then. Oh. 
do nothing with the other one. Yeah. So how many people have we killed? Monsters have we killed? Six. Uh, so it looks like they're going to be seven? six in the other room. Yeah. Oh, I see what you mean from the bar. Yeah, yeah. I think we've killed seven. Yeah, the last room's going to be tough. It right, is. John. Uh, move me towards the door in any particular configuration you'd like. Move three. Yeah. Okay. And then we'll skip that. Me, I will. Oh, I could actually move four, but I'm going to be long resting next turn. Are you two planning on going in next turn? No, I'm going to. Long I, rest. I I can't reach the door. Okay, so, so you're going to be short resting. The two of us are going to be long resting. Yeah. Um. Okay. Yeah. Let's just get the gold. Skip that. Actually, I should have done it the other way around and healed. Ah, that was a mistake. I had a heal there that I should have used. Rats. Okay, round five. So I'm going to be long resting this turn, I can tell you that. Can we just have a look at how big the broom is, Paul? It's that big. Fairly chunky. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, but it's not one of those horrible V-shaped rooms, which no, is why no, I was thinking uh, there were five-room dungeons, because they throw me. Because when I look at them in this sort of view, it looks like it's two rooms. Yeah. Right. Long rest for me, please, but you've done that already, haven't you? So oh, you're long yeah. resting as well. Yeah. And Paul, are you yeah, short I'm resting? I'm short, I'm short resting. Okay. The card that was chosen decision. for you to learn is the smoke bomb. Not to learn, to burn. Oh, that's your invisible. You don't want to lose that. I don't want to lose that, do I? No. You're going to redraw? Yes, please. Here comes okay. Flaming Strike. Oh, Sinister Opportunity has gone. Okay. Okay, right. It is your go then, because you're short-resting. That's really unfortunate. Uh, so... That's which one? Uh, open Wound and Thief Snack. Okay, off you go. Uh, move five towards the door. Two, three, four, five. Okay. Uh, there's no traps to disarm, so. Let's that. Right. Brute, which card would you like to lose, John? Sweeping blue. Sweeping blow has been burned. Okay, you get heal two and your cards come back. Thank you. And then on my turn, I'm going to lose. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know. They're all so good. I think I'm going to lose Mana Bolt. I heal two and I get some stuff back and we are done. Right, round six. Let me know when you've chosen your cards. Okay, I have chosen. I have chosen. I have as well, so I'm going to be moving four, and um, doing a flame strike. Hopefully, there'll be something within range. Yeah, hopefully. Okay, right, uh, Paul. Uh, flanking strike and smoke bomb. Flanking strike, smoke bomb, and John. So, um, trample and fatal advance. Um, the I've walked into several rooms like this, which everyone's an archer, so mm -hmm. that's always fun. We will find out. I don't. Well, there's none in this room, in this dungeon. We've got living bones, okay, we've got okay, sun demons, right. and we've got night demons. So yeah, yeah, we're okay. Right, scoundrel first. Uh, move five. Okay, so the first one goes onto the door, and then the computer pauses whilst we open the room. Right, here we go. We have a treasure chest. 
Sorry, we have some gold. We have, yeah, lots and lots of gribblies. So we've got living bones, another living bones, another living bones, four living uh, bones, a knight, two, uh, yeah, one knight demon, and two sun demons, one of which is elite. Okay, right. Mm. Where would you like to go with the rest of your move five? Bearing in mind, uh, you're going invisible. One, two, three, four. Right, behind the two five hit points, right there, yeah. Okay, so movement done, and then smoke bomb. Hi, oh, yes, please. <laughs> there you go. You have gone invisible. There's All a right. right. Anything else you want to do? Or are you done? Uh, well, I don't think there's that. No. Okay. Paul, I don't think so. Paul Scoundrel, um, mm -hmm. I need. To, I should be end up being next to you, shouldn't I, to give you one of your bonuses? <laughs> Maybe not now. Uh, I'm up to you, John. Okay. Um. <laughs> They're all running away. They're all running towards us. Right. Okay. So the bones have moved. Uh, okay. Right. Well, that that does change my plan slightly now. I think instead of what I was going to do, I am going to do an attack three, range three on this one. To be oh. honest, John. I don't need you to stood next to me next turn, okay. John. Okay, all right. Just, just in case you well missed me, I, I just killed that. I saw that. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> I dreamed you double. Some days you just get lucky with the cards. Um, then I'm going to do this for a move two. Um, now that, what, what are you doing, John? Well, I'm, I was going to trample, but has, has it? Um, you still can. Yeah, I'm only I'm only going to take two out. Two, though. three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's true. Um, what about going to the night demon? What you? Um, it could do. I'm just working out whether. Is there any movement that I can get three of them? Uh, no. With, even with my boots. In no. Six. Even with the six. Boots. One, two, three, four, five, six. No. No. Because they're all spread apart. Um, I'm just working out whether I should end here and get this gold. No, I'm not. I'm not going to because yeah. that's using the boots. So why won't it let me go there? Oh, that's three away. Right, I'm just going to go there, and that is my turn done. Right. So the night demon. Ah, we said no. But yes. then the night demon. Sorry, moved. I thought it was my move, but it wasn't. Right, right. so yeah. now you, I think you now will. You I think you're yeah. one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, you can. Right, so let's. Trample Tastic. Let's do that. Yeah. Okay, so trample with the boots. Uh, hang on, is there anything I can else I can revive before we do this? Uh, no, you've got everything's re revived. Okay. Let's use the bloody axe as well. So trample with the boots. So it's one, two. Now, where do you want to end up? I don't mind, Paul, really. Okay, well, what I'll do is I'll put you one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? Yep, with the axe. Confirm movement. So, with the axe, you're hitting everything on the way past. Does somebody have a mana potion? No. Okay. Let's see, two. The, from the axe. There you go. And then, are you going to do an attack of two, or are you just going to kill something? What do we want to do, guys? Oh, it's a shame you're not next to the Sun Demon because that would have been yeah. Nice. So I think I think what I'll do then is I'll do a normal tack of two. Yeah. And then I'll draw back some cards. Right. Which one do you want to attack? Uh, the Night Demon. Night okay. Demon. Night Demon. Minus one. Right. Are you standing? Don't end my turn, please. <laughs> yeah. So I will use the. Um, what? Which one's which? The earring does what? Can you remind me? The earring gets refreshes your, your items. Items. Yeah. And the stamina potion gets you two of your discarded cards back. Yeah. So let's do both. Okay. So I've got your stamina potion first. Which cards would you like back? Trample and fatal advance, please. Bob. Um, yeah. Uh, you can't have trample back because that was a burned oh. card. Oh. Right. And you can't. Have, you can have. 
Can you have Fatal Advance back? Yeah. In fact, you can only have Fatal Advance back. Okay, that's still still a good time to do still it. Worth okay. it. Okay. Rosemary's just joined us in the chat and says it's only six second delay on six Twitch. seconds on Twitch. Nice. And yeah. um, and then the moon earring. Yeah. There you go. Awesome. Right. End turn. Yep. Thank you. And then the sun demon. Yeah. Here's the big one. Oh, is that all he's doing? Oh yeah, all he's doing is turning. It's moving, hitting a bit. Yes. And then healing itself. You take one damage. There you go, yes. we're fine. Round seven. Right, what's the plan, party? I'm going to wipe out the Sun Demon with my card, killing normal and enemy, and then attack uh, gonna... something else. I'm okay. going to do a little bit of damage to a couple of things at range. Right. Okay, I'm remain know... invisible. Let me know when you've chosen your cards. I've chosen. I have chosen my cards okay. about ten minutes ago. <laughs> um, I'm just going to go late, and I'm going to I'm going to get my cards back. That's what I'm going to do. I right. seem to be surrounded by everybody. You are, but you did jump in there. They're all going to die soon. Okay, Paul, your cards. Uh, throwing knives, hidden daggers. Okay, and John. Spare dagger, fatal advance. Spare dagger, fatal advance. Okay, here we go. So the Night Demon is going um, quite early, attacking three different things and, and not muddling them. Then the Living Bones is moving and attacking. Then the Sun Demons are going really late. Uh, thankfully, it is not sunny. So, Good. let's see what happens. <coughs> right, Scoundrel first. So I'll be using the top of throwing knives. I think I can hit two things. Don't can. bother hitting the seven Sun Demons. I wasn't. I was going to hit the two that are in front of me, or to my right, to the right of the screen, basically. Yeah. Okay. So throw daggers at those two. Yeah, for three double. Three damage on the Sun Demon. And three damage on the other one. Nice. And, and then, then I'll be going invisible. You're staying invisible. <laughs> <laughs> you know that conversation we had in the pub. Yeah. <laughs> the uh, let the brute rush in and take all the damage. That one. <laughs> okay. End turn? Yes, please. Uh, Too late. What? Um, I said yes, please. What? Okay. Oh, that was lucky. I don't think it mattered. You got a double against the night. Yes, I saw that. There you go. So, chainmail protects you. Right, brute, here we go. Kill one normal enemy, the sun demon. Yeah, fatal advance on the sun demon. <laughs> bye bye. And then spare dagger on the night demon. Attack two on the night demon without the axe. Without the axe. Yeah. And he said it without singing. He did. There you go. Night demon is dead. Okay. Then turn, John. Uh, yes, please. Thank you, Paul. Right. Living bones. I'll do the dance. Uh, that's no damage. This one comes and attacks me. Someone needs to stand on the uh, treasure chest at some point soon. Yes, I really want to get that. Right, me. Um, well, I'm just going to summon an ally here to get some HP and then get all my burn cards back. There you go. Right. That is me done. Sun Demon Elite. Four damage on you, John. Okay. And round eight. Okay, so mop these up. Right. I'm going to move in and do some fiery orbs against anything that's left, but I am going quite late, unfortunately. And my iPad is about to die because he's out of battery, so I'm going to turn it off so I won't see any more chat messages, unfortunately. Uh, but thank you for everybody for joining in the chat. Still feel free to keep putting messages in the chat. Obviously, other people will see them. It's just I can't see them because I'm playing full screen. 
Right. Have you got your cards? Yep. Uh, no. Because I need to do a short rest. Oh, okay, you're short resting? I don't think I have any choice. <laughs> Unless I've got rest. it wrong. <laughs> you could long rest. Uh, what are your potions? Healing and an earring. <sighs> yeah, neither of which seems relevant at the moment. Nope. No, I think I short rest. Short rest? I okay. don't see the... Long rest seems crazy at the moment. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's losing flanking strike. Is that okay? Um. You want to keep that one? It's a card no, I you've don't. improved. No. Okay. It is a card I've improved, but at this stage of the game, I'm more worried about losing an invisibility card. So <laughs> let's lose it. You sure? I mean, you're on full health. Which one's your All right, go on then. Redraw. Redraw. There you go. Throwing knives. Throwing knives is gone. That's all right. Yeah. I can live without throwing See, knives. See, that's, that's, that's the, 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 the Paul Grogan. Are you sure? Are you sure? <laughs> At least just that that flanking strike is like potentially an attack of six. Yes, it's a very nice card. Yeah, but uh, with the invisibility one with doubling is potentially a t two attacks of six, so... Yeah. Yeah. That's what you lost that. You've you've lost. It's that. a burned card. Uh, so it is. Yeah. Yeah. So right. I couldn't lose that anyway. No. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let me know when you've chosen your cards. Yes, I have. Uh, I have not. So. Mm. No. Okay, I have chosen. Right, okay, so have I. Paul? Oh, that's a bit late, actually. No, let's go with that instead. Okay, open wound, hidden dagger. Okay, John? Uh, leaping cleave, overwhelming assault. Yeah. Easy peasy. Right, so the, sh the living bones are putting their shields up and healing themselves. They're not attacking, and the sun demon is going to attack all adjacent enemies. Yeah. Got this sorted. Right, Paul, what would you like to do? Hmm. Well, I was going to go and hit the Sun Demon, but now it's just going to... Uh, was it attacking adjacent enemies for the Sun Demon? It's moving one and it's attacking two on all adjacent enemies. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So that's us It's not going to move hidden... anyway, because I'm going to be next to it. Right. Okay. So let's move, use Hidden Daggers to move yeah. up against the Sun Demon, and then hit it with uh, attack four. Whereabouts? Do you want the gold? Well, preferably, yeah. Okay, and then attack four. There you go, it's three damage. All lads yeah. up. End turn. Yes, please. Right, you are now visible. So the living bones, they both put their shields up and they both heal, which is unfortunate. Right. Um, we that, I think. Uh, Sun Demon. Move to the Sun Demon, please. Um, three move. And then attack six. Where you want to end up? Over here? Uh, yes. The, yes, please. Okay. And then attack six. Yeah. Gets you two XP. Yeah. And hopefully kills it. Yes. Yeah, thank God. Um, next. And I didn't. And we didn't use the sword of doom either. We did not. Right. So I am moving for. Uh, um, I could use the boots to make it six. One, two, three, four. No, it's not worth it. Let's take the boots off. Uh, I'm going to move four to here. And then I'm going to do fire orbs and attack three different things. So one, two, three. But they've got double shield. So it might not do much. Yeah. <laughs> no damage. No damage. One damage. Oh, but I did get three XP. And there is now fire, which means you're Inferno Blade, Paul, if you want to use it. Right. Next round. Round nine. I think this is the round we get the chest. Yeah. I've got I've got that straight move damage card again. Okay. 
So I'm hoping I can get walk in a straight line, one, two, three, four, and whack that skeleton closest to the wall. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm going to go early and just zap one of them. So let me know when you've got your cards. Um, I will alt tab just to the chat. Gino's here, David's here. I am happy. Rosemary's I here. have my cards. Yep, I'm okay. I'm okay. cool. Paul, your cards are. Uh, who's, uh, mine are planking, strike, and beef snack. Okay, and John? Um, hook and chain and balance measure. Yeah. Here we go. So the living bones are attacking three, targeting two things, which is their normal thing anyway. So nothing I should have gone later and hope they moved up to me, but never well, mind. Well, they're not moving, that's the thing. So, Paul. So, I w please don't stand between the, um, the two skeletons and the gold that place. Please don't stand there. Okay. Uh, so let's use uh, Thief Snack to move to horizontally, basically. To that? Yeah. Okay. And then attack. It's an attack of four. Um, use oh, the blade. Use the blade. It should give me that option in a minute, shouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Use the blade. Attack six. Yeah, that's gone. End turn? Yes, please. Yeah, we're pleased this. I thought this was going to be tougher. So did I. I think we got a bit lucky. Hmm. Now. But you get unlucky as well, so. We are in danger of ending this without getting the chest. So. Um. In fact, can I get the chest from here? One, two, three. Oh, I'm one short. Obviously, I can get the chest. Do you want to get the chest, John? Um, if you get the chest? Yeah, I can probably kill these. Okay. Well, in fact, I can't kill both of them, but I can probably... I could probably get the chest as well, but... Yeah, but you've already yeah. been. <laughs> oh, sorry, this round, I thought we were... This round? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to get rid of... Well, there's still a... You're going to kill something, aren't you? Well, possibly. So we've got two skeletons left, right? There yeah. are two left. You yeah, know, we're in. Actually, we're fine. We're fine. That's why. That's what threw me. That's why I yeah. thought we were. <laughs> but if I'd have killed this one and then John have killed that one, then it would have it would have been over. So what I'll do is I will move to here and just get some gold. There you go. Right. So the brute's turn. Yeah, so if you want to get the chest, you can, or if you want to go in and kill something, whichever. Well, hang on. Has your, has your helper moved? Yep. Right, so the, one, the, the skeleton in the bottom right-hand corner is going to live this round. Yes. So I will kill the skeleton. Then. Okay, so are you going to do a move four? Move four, in, move, move three in a straight line. Move three uh, in move a straight four. line. Yeah, three in a straight line. Yeah. yeah. And then you get to basically perform an attack. Yeah. Of three... Yep, easily. And then the balanced measure is. Uh... And then I'll, at I'll attack the scoundrel with the rest of the. Okay. <laughs> Only joking, Paul. Only joking. <laughs> right, round 10. So, our objective this turn is just to get, get Pick loot. Up the gold. Because uh, my mystic ally is probably going to kill this skeleton. Um, right. Uh, how really much move have you, have you got? A decent amount of move, have you? Have you got a three move available, John? Uh, I can short rest and get one. Yeah, well, I, I mean, can I, you get to the chest and I'll I go can get some chest. gold somewhere else? I, I can get to the chest. The chest is fine. Okay. Have you got your loot card available for you? No, I Still? think you lost it. Okay. Yeah, I don't have a loot. Which is unfortunate, because it would be nice to standing where you are, but... Yeah. yeah. So I've got I'm the just... chest. Right, I'll just stand on one pile of gold. Chest has been gotten. Are you short resting then, Paul? Yeah, obviously, yeah. Okay. You bothered which card you lose? Not really. Uh, so you've lost open wound. Okay. And, right, so what cards are you both playing? Well, let's play flanking strike and something else. Uh, hidden daggers. John? 
Uh, I've only got two there, so shield back and warding strength. Okay, here we go. So the Living Bones is moving three, if it gets to go. Scoundrel first. Right, are any of the piles of gold more than two? Yes, uh, there's a... Yes, just... there's a pile of four here. Right, so let's go there then. You want that one? Yes, please. Now, you can actually kill the thing. Oh no, you're just out of range. Yeah, if you move here... Range three. It's just out of range. Right, can anybody else get to that pile of four of gold? Well, John can. Oh, you've yeah, moved me now. You've moved me now. Yeah, but you can still go here if you want to. I was going to say, yeah, that's what I was going to say. Go there and I'll hit the... Okay. So you Good go there. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to use the hidden daggers? You might as well. It's 2 XP. Yeah. Yeah, dead. There we go. Okay, so your go is over. John, yep. just move on to the gold. Onto the big pile, yep. Okay, and then skip attack. And then on my go, I move four onto the chest. After the tone, please record your name. Well done. Uh, let's see what's in the chest. 17 gold. Nice. Has joined the conference. Is that your conference call starting, John? <laughs> <laughs> right, we'll, we'll wrap this up quickly. So we did it. That was it's okay. That, that was a breeze. Um, yeah, we did, we did pretty well. There we go. It's off. We did pretty well. Let's just get the... Um, it's my lunch break. If it's going to wake up. Is it going to wake up? It's doing quite a lot. Yeah, right. Okay, so that's the end of part 11. Um, we're doing all right for XP. We're doing all right. And next time, on part 12, we will be going to either the Eerie Glade, which is all of those things, Oof. or the Veiled Camp. Tune in next time for part 12 of Gloomhaven Digital. Thank you very much to everybody for joining today. John's got to go because he's got a conference call. Um, and yeah, I'll, I'll, see you, uh, I'll see you later on for the next one. Thanks both for joining in. Bye, see you fun, everyone. Cheers. Bye. Gaming Rules is proudly sponsored by Game Toppers, upgrading your gaming experience. Visit GameToppersLLC.com.